fact that this is the second mass shooting that I have now lived through is incomprehensible. Jackie Matthews was in her sixth grade class at another school sheltering in place as a gunman opened fire at nearby Sandy Hook Elementary in December of 2012. The Connecticut native suffered that trauma as a child and relived it Monday night as a 21 year old woman on the campus of Michigan State University where she is a senior. It is almost 1 a.m. and I am currently directly across the street from where the shootings at Michigan State occurred. She posted this TikTok video, her terror, heartbreak and anger coming through as the nation grapples with another mass shooting. Matthews and others are calling for change and tougher gun laws and authorities are trying to determine a motive. Three people were killed, five more seriously injured, all MSU students. Classes have been canceled as rattled students gather to mourn the lives lost. Kind of surreal, still kind of like knees wobbling, like arms shaking. Students received an active shooter alert from university police telling them to run, hide, fight on the sprawling East Lansing campus. And then we ran out, there were cops there, and they told us to go lay in a field. To be honest, I didn't hear anything. I just saw a giant group of people running. They said they heard shots in the Hubbard Courtyard. Police say the shooter, 43-year-old Anthony McRae, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, and now they're trying to retrace his steps. He has no clear ties to MSU. McRae's uncle spoke to reporters by phone. Timothy McRae said his nephew was diagnosed with schizophrenia and did not get the help he needed after he was convicted of a gun-related charge in 2019. He adds Anthony struggled with mental illness that worsened after his mother's death. He's been diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic. So, so mental illness is, is a real thing. Um, you know, we as the Cray family apologize that this had to happen. And according to Gun Violence Archive, the shooting on MSU's campus was the 67th mass shooting just in 2023 alone.